I've now got my hands on potentially one of the nicest bikes in the women's pro peloton. Take a look at this. I'm now actually filming a video with my old mechanic, Mike. How many bikes do you think you've washed in your time, Mike? I need Rachel Riley here. <laughs> What's your favorite part of your job? Going to the bar at the night. Nice. <laughs> I thought it would be. Hopefully some cars will whiz around in a minute. It's 4 a.m. and we're going to the airport. No hubiera pensado que yo me iba a enamorar. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. This is going to be more of a behind the scenes video of what I get up to on my trip to the UAE for the women's UAE tour. Currently sat at Heathrow Airport waiting for a seven hour flight. So come along for the ride. This is just going to be a vlog of you. <laughs> my trip to Abu Dhabi. <sighs> Finally made it to Abu Dhabi after 16 hours, I think, if my maths is correct, of traveling. But we've got a big day tomorrow. We're going to start filming tomorrow, get up bright and early, seize the day. You guys better get some rest too. I'll see you in the morning. Welcome to Abu Dhabi. The sun is shining and it's going to be a great day. Plan for today is essentially to head over to the racetrack there where all like the team bikes, the mechanics are based and we're essentially just going to go and film some bikes. It's a super easy base. We don't have to drive anywhere. Our hotel is just there, the team hotels are behind me as well. Come with me, let's go do this. Roundabout signs, 5K to finish, which all the riders will be looking for. It's obviously out here in the UAE, they don't have the luxury of bringing all the team cars and the buses over. So the race actually supplies all the cars. There is hundreds and hundreds of cars. So you've got all these, all of these, all of them over there. You've got mini buses as well. All the cars with the roof racks on as well. But there's a lot of things that you don't even think about when racing out here. So where the teams and the bikes and the tents are based is on the Yas Marina circuit, which is where the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix is. Pretty cool. Hopefully some cars will whiz around in a minute. So these are all the tents where the teams are going to be based, the mechanics are, the riders come before they go out to race, and each tent actually has its own aircon. But let's go see what teams we can find. We've got our first bike, the little Trek bike. Jack's hard at work. Only 13 more bikes to go. We're on to bike number two. Obviously, as I've mentioned, the teams don't have those really big buses and trucks at this race. So the organization have actually got it's another car going around the track. These massive tanks of water all along here. And then this is the bike wash area. So the race hasn't actually started yet, but later I'm sure after they've been out on their training rides, they'll come back and the mechanics will be here washing the bikes. Okay, so we have filmed five pro bikes and unfortunately some of the teams aren't here at the moment so we're going to have to come back in an hour to film more but we're currently just going to go down find a nice view and do a little bit more filming been a good day so far jack yeah it's been nice we've seen some le mans cars can't complain uh do i need a clap or just yeah give us a clap actually before we get into the bikes let me tell you a little bit about the women's uae tour 
Okay, I'm now going to give you a little behind the scenes of what is acting like the team's truck and buses for this race. So come on into the tent. We've got the mechanics table here with all their tools lined up, ready to work on the bikes. They do fly with their bike stands out here as well to make life a little bit easier. So we've got two mechanics, so two bike stands. We've also got all the bikes lined up. We've got the bike bags as well, because they've obviously traveled over here. And then in here, this is like the riders getting ready for a ride area. So they've got a nice little lounge area there. And then they have a fridge with a load of snacks. We've got lots of different styles of yogurt. We've got a bit of Greek yogurt. We've got a few different flavors in there as well. Sparkling water, Fanta, Pepsi, Sprite. Diet Coke as well. A few different arrays of milk. Oh, some gourmet marinated chicken breast. Get the protein in. Lots of fruit and veg. They've also got the ice vests in there. These are like a flatbread-y kind of thing. Nice little snack. Got their kit, got their energy drinks, bars. Cyclist's favorite, bananas. Apart from if you mean don't like bananas. Not bad, really. I'd take this over a bus any day those of you who are into your cars there is actually a ferrari world in abu dhabi which you might be able to see just there so if you are visiting i'd have to just go into ferrari world not that i've been might be rubbish but it's probably quite good oh and i'm back in my hotel room now what a day i feel pretty tired now i feel like just being out in the sun all day zaps you. Some of the teams haven't actually arrived today and they come tonight slash tomorrow morning. So hopefully we'll film the rest of the bikes plus some more content tomorrow. And then that's going to be a wrap. It is day two. We're just getting set up to film some more bikes. I've now got my hands on potentially one of the nicest bikes in the women's pro peloton. Take a look at this. Specialized tarmac but this color is unbelievable. And sometimes I have to be a human bike stand holding it for Jack over there that's filming it. But I'm not complaining. It could be worse right now. It could be worse. I've also got my hands on the World Champs bike, Lotte Kopecky's Specialized S-Works Tarmac, but some cool details on you. We've obviously got the World Champ stripes and Look at this chain and cassette. I don't know if you can see it, but in the sun, it kind of sparkles a few different colors. And that is a really nice detail. Quick little coffee break. On the flight out here, I was thinking, I really want to see a camel. I think I've come to the conclusion, I'm not going to see a camel because we are in the city of Abu Dhabi and the camels are in the desert and I'm not going to the desert. So that's really sad. I really like to stroke a camel one day. Monday. We're now in one of the team tents with the Swanee, Jodie. Say hi, Jodie. Hi. <laughs> what have you got on the go here? So we're just making a batch of rice cakes, which are for the riders to go in their jersey pockets tomorrow. I've made one already. What which flavor is, is this? Mango and apricot. Do you put these in the fridge or the freezer? In the fridge. Oh we ready for tomorrow and then we cut them up in the morning. And um, what else have you got on your list of things to do today? Oh, a lot. To prepare the vehicle, do all the bottles, which Billy Beat here is doing. And basically try and stay ahead of the game. How many massages are you doing today? We have six riders, so I take three and Federico takes three also. What's your favourite party job? Going to the bar at the night. Nice. <laughs> I thought it would be. We're now on our very last bike, the beautiful Liv. I'm now actually filming a video with my old mechanic, Mike, and we're doing a how to wash a bike like a pro mechanic. And he's got some really interesting tips. So make sure you go and watch that video over on the tech channel. Mike, how's your day been filming with me? It's been absolutely pleasure. That's the usual, man. Was I your favorite rider when, you, when always, we were on the team? Always me. Apparently I'm a favorite presenter now too. This is also true. <laughs> How many bikes do you think you washed in your time, Mike? No idea. I did think one year of actually trying to count like how many bike washes in a season. On a stage race, you do six a day unless you've used a spare bike when it could be 
seven or eight. Day before you go home on a race, you wash all the spare bikes. So that's a minimum 12 bike a day. So on a stage race, what's that? Six, 12, 18, 24, maybe 36 washes times by 170 race days. Um, I have to ask Mike, are Crocs the shoe of choice for washing a bike? For me, they're super comfy. I, I like them. You know, pink is pink. I feel like I've spent quite a lot of time in these white tents. I might miss them when we go home. So I'm just going to say one more last goodbye. Our time in Abu Dhabi has come to an end. We're going to be flying back in the morning quite early. So I thought I'll do a quick check out now, just while the sun is setting. But it's it's been a really enjoyable few days being here, seeing all the be behind the scenes action, getting to see some people that I raced with as well and some of the team mechanics and swannies that I worked with as well. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's been a little bit different taking you behind the scenes, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'm gonna enjoy one last sunset. Say bye to the vlog, Jack. Bye vlog. That was the best shot of the trip, that. That transition.